Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor for me to be here as the keynote speaker for this conference on AI and cybersecurity. Thank you so much for the opportunity to the organizer and really congratulate them as well for this exceptional event. Let me start with saying that AI is quite a complicated something. Uh, although I have been working and working every single day with AI enabled mechanisms, uh, solutions. I do not consider myself an AI expert. Why? For the simple fact that AI is a, trem is a tremendous uh, space of development. It is so dramatically changing day by day. And also because it's not just we develop it, it also comes with the artificial intelligence term that it's also developing itself based on the data feeds and, and uh, 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 context that we are giving, giving AI to develop. But this being said, I really think that AI is really around in everything uh, that, uh, uh, that we do today, but also AI was around for quite a while now. What do you think? What is the time frame that AI was around? Uh, is it four years? Is it 14? Is it 40? Uh, well, I w if I would be there in the room, probably I would guess, uh, uh, guess based by hand raise. What do you, do you say? But AI was first mentioned in 1956 at a conference. And ever since AI is around, that means exactly 68 years. 68 years is the age of some of our parents, some of our grandparents, or even they may be younger. So AI is around quite a, for quite a while. But yet, in the last few years, AI has developed in last years quite significantly. Definitely, AI has been transformed from being a mystical solution where you needed to be an expert, you needed to be a data scientist to get close to some data, to do something with it. Um, and in many cases, also computing power was less, but nevertheless, with the large language models uh, um, appearance, it is quite clear that AI started to be a tool to be used by pretty much anyone. And as opposite to the deep learning, opposite to the machine learning uh, uh, models, large language models are really here and have a wide area of application. Even my eight-year-old daughter gives quite easy prompts to, to, to chat GPT. And she enjoys it actually, that in a very few seconds, she gets answers, she gets pictures, and it does come with, with, with a fun uh, element as well. But why did I say that this conference is timely? It is exactly because of this tremendous development due to the appearance of large language models, AI being accepted by the larger society. But also, also I think that, uh, that Due to the newly available computing power, uh, AI is transformational and has the opportunity to be transformational for our lives, in our lives as we speak today. Um, the way we live, the way we work, the way we do a lot of uh, a lot of things. Uh, I talked a bit about computing power, but imagine that your smartphone, which you may have now in the pocket. It has more computing power than a complete Apollo mission to space. So the computing power is easing, the adoption of AI is easing the, the increase of AI for sure, even though it comes with its challenges. And I also said it's transformational. You can see it uh, uh, a lot, and there has been a lot of studies showing what it means also for the workforce, uh, the way we know how to do our jobs today and what it's going to mean for the future. Uh, and there is pretty much a consensus, and there's a quote which probably you will hear it a few times today as well, that AI per se may or may not be taking jobs. But AI for sure is enabling those who are using it. And those who are using AI are going to take the jobs of the other people who don't use. So be aware that AI is here. It's here to stay. And even though it's not the magical robot of, from Terminator series, which has soul and heart and feelings, still AI is here to enable us to, to be a lot better, a lot more efficient, to learn a lot faster in many domains that we were used to. And... Um, uh, 
I'm Kinga Daradic and I'm leading currently the one of the most prominent companies of e-commerce in Hungary, which has a presence in the region as well. Uh, and yes, e-commerce is a heavily digitalized and technologized uh, environment. So we do use a lot of AI and other type of technologies in our daily activities. Um, if I was in the room, probably I would uh, I would ask you when did you order last time from us. Uh, but since I'm not there, I just uh, need to tell you that the reason why I cannot be there today with you is that we are having the Black Friday, which is the biggest shopping event for us in a year. And yes, during this event, we are using a lot of AI, a lot of algorithms, a lot of technologies that are enabling us really to create a so very concentrated shopping experience for our users. Uh, what do what does in everyday life mean AI algorithms and, and automatization mean uh, mean for a mag in everyday? Uh, for instance, we do have at a mag integrated AI algorithms for our operation for almost ten years. So we are speaking just everyday AI presence in a mag for 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 almost ten years, and. These resources do help uh, optimize resources and definitely are there to enhance our efficiency. We view investment in AI solutions as a key strategy because this helps us to enhance in an efficient, automatized uh, manner uh, uh, the customer shopping experience, but also it enhances us or enables us to provide value at very competitive prices. Just let me tell you a few examples of AI-driven features that, that we are using. For instance, we are enhancing the listing process and we are boosting the employee's productivity by 50% when it comes validating new products listed by the sellers. We do operate a platform. The platform has sellers. We are proud that also in Hungary there are a few thousands of sellers and yes, they are uh, becoming active and more active also internationally. But when a new seller comes, it helps us to be faster. It helps us to be more efficient. It helps us to be more productive when it comes to listing their products on our site and, and and, uh, and make it available for the customers. Also, it, it means that some sellers can go abroad. Um, and when they go abroad, they don't necessarily speak the language of the country where they go to. So we are using uh, automated translation tools, allowing sellers to make their product description for new markets without costs. Uh, we are enhancing search process. What does that mean? For instance, we are we are working a lot and, and uh, doing steps in order to uh, make the search experience even simpler with two, two new AI-based tools. One relates to the semantic search, which uh, is is, which means pretty much understanding complex description provided by users and displays a precise selection of product. But also we are we are uh, encompassing more and more in our applications an image-based search, which is perfect for a customer who sees an interesting product, snaps a photo and searches through, through it in our platform. Do we have something similar or very specifically that one? But also you may ask, e-commerce is also about logistics. Yes, our logistics operations are quite complex and is heavily automatized. Uh, I don't believe that there could be a good e-commerce company without having solid logistics operations and ecosystem that are fast, they are efficient, and definitely highly automatized. For instance, in our logistic hub, uh, the biggest logistic hub, we do have a very perfect balance, we say, between logistics and technology. For instance, we do have over 10 kilometers of conveyor belt, 28 picking station, but yes, we do also have more than 400 shuttle robots. And yes, it comes with a heavy investment of, of over 250 million euros that the group, the whole EMA group in the region have spent on logistic facilities. Also, these technologies do help us in logistics um, to, to respect our commitment for sustainability and help us reduce packaging and packaging waste. Due to these innovations, we managed to redu reduce packaging by more than 20% compared to the previous year. And moreover, we have reduced plastic packaging by over 35%, eliminating or replacing it with 100% recycled paper or to be recycled paper. And uh, you know, you may you may consider how this is possible. Definitely, it comes with a very strong strategic commitment from uh, from our group in in this uh, direction as well. And uh, uh, it comes also with investment. So uh, the EMA group has officially declared that it will invest roughly 200 million euros in the next upcoming fiscal year. And the key investment areas relate to group companies development, relate to logistics development, uh, relates uh, to. Di 
diversifying payment services. But yes, advancing AI and technology is on the top uh, top of the agenda for for further investment in in these technologies, and that we really believe that using these technologies better making it uh, making it work for us it means to have a better more personalized experience for both the customers but also the sellers who are coming to join our platform and yet these are the very few minutes of the conference um, i'm sure that it's going to be intriguing interesting the discussions that you're going to participate today uh, i am sure that you're going to discuss about ai from its many perspective it can be cybersecurity, it can be optimization of activities it can be enhancing humans to do more uh, or it can be even ethical considerations as the stage of ai is i my personal uh, belief is that not it's not a perfect solution but definitely it's an enhancer if used properly and also yes it raises certain challenges, certain concerns, being that uh, computing power, uh, power being that uh, ethical considerations. But in many ways, AI just started to be a household name for a few years, even though it is around for quite, uh, quite a few decades. And um, I am sure that by this conference today, all of us uh, will be better uh, at understanding what implications of AI may have in so many areas of our life. So let me conclude by wishing you a great platform for great discussions. Uh, uh, thanking once again for the organizers for the opportunity to be here and congratulating them for this outstanding event. And if I can give an advice, though I don't really give advices, I think by getting to know AI more, it will help us for the future. But I also think that we need to keep our critical sense in not believing what every, everything what AI says. So let me wish you a wonderful day. Enjoy it and may it have a lot of thought-provoking discussions. Have a very great day. Thank you.